Hello there! This is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFD server tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you three ways to generate open PGP keys. Jscape MFT Server makes it easy to strengthen secure file transfers with open PGP encryption. But before you can protect your files with PGP, you need to create the necessary public slash private key pairs. In this video, we introduce you to three ways of doing that. The first option is to use the Key Manager. The Key Manager is a module that's only accessible to your system administrator. If you want your end users to generate PGP key pairs themselves, you can use option 2. We'll talk about that option in a short while. When keys are generated via the key manager, those keys can be used anywhere in the system and are typically used in conjunction with triggers. This is how you would carry out this particular PGP key creation process. Go to the keys menu and navigate to the PGP keys tab. After that, click the Generate button. Enter the following information. Real name, this should be the full name of the key pair owner, for example, John Smith. Email, this is an email address owned by the key pair owner, for example, jsmith at domain.com. Key algorithm, this is the encryption algorithm you want to use. The options are RSA and DSA. If you want a comparison of these two, read the article which works best for encrypted file transfers, RSA or DSA. We've provided a link to this article in the description. Key length. This is the length of your encryption key. Longer is stronger. However, for longer keys, you may need to install the JCE Unlimited Strength Jurisdiction Policy files. If you need insights for choosing key lengths, you can also read Choosing Key Lengths for Encrypted File Transfers. Again, we've provided links to those articles in the description. Click the OK button as soon as you are done. If all goes well, you should then see your newly generated key along with some pertinent information including the key algorithm, key capabilities, for example, you can encrypt, sign, etc. and the key's unique fingerprint. The second option is to use the user's web interface. This option is suitable for situations wherein you would like users to generate PGP keys on their own. Such keys can be used only to encrypt files uploaded to virtual paths that are accessible to the user and have PGP encryption enabled. Assuming you're a registered user on Jscape MFT server, this is how you would generate your PGP keys. Log in to your Jscape MFT server's web interface, and then once inside, navigate to My Account. Next, navigate to the Open PGP Encryption section. Click the link that says Generate Open PGP Key. Again, enter pertinent information such as the real name, email, type, and length. You may also optionally enter a file password to add a layer of protection to your key file. As soon as you click OK, the public-private key pair will be generated and the private key file will be automatically downloaded onto your system. You'll need this private key to decrypt any file that's been encrypted by its corresponding public key. Make sure you place the file in a safe location and remember where you place it. Otherwise, you won't be able to decrypt files that are encrypted by that private key's corresponding public key. Once you get back to the main screen, you'll notice a new directory named .pgp under your home directory. Then if you navigate into that directory, you'll also see a file named key.pub. This file is your private key's corresponding public key and will be used to encrypt files uploaded to virtual paths you have access to that have PGP encryption enabled. Remember that only one PGP public key may be associated with each account. Generating a new key pair or importing a new public key will overwrite the existing public key file. The third and last option is to use a third-party PGP tool. You can use any reliable PGP tool. One of the tools I recommend is GPG. Here's how you use it to generate keys. Launch the app and click the new icon. Enter pertinent information as in the previous options and then click the generate key button. You'll also be asked to enter a passphrase. Write down or print this passphrase and then place it in a secret location. You'll need it when you import your private key to Jscape MFT server. 
You should then see your newly created PGP key pair on your GPG main screen. In order to use these keys on JScape MFT server, you'll need to import them there. In other words, you'll have to export them from GPG first. To export, just right click on the key you want to export and then select export. If all you need is the public key, navigate to a directory where you want to save the public key and then click the save button. However, if what you need is the private key, make sure you tick the checkbox that says include secret key in the exported file before clicking save. You can then import that file into JScape empty server. To import the file, just go to the keys menu and then click the import button. Select the key type, in this case public key or secret key, and then navigate to the key file and enter the corresponding passphrase. That's it. Now you know three ways of generating